Hello everyone and welcome back to Smart Gadgets. Today we're going to show you how to connect your Mibro Lite with the Mibro Fit app on an iOS iPhone. You can also look at the previous video if you want to connect it to Android. So, let's begin here immediately, we have the Mibro Lite, and let's see how to connect it. You can download the app by searching for it in the App Store if you know it. But if you don't you need to find the QR code for the app which it uses. So what we're going to do now is take our phone and scan it, after we have scanned it will show us a link that sends us to Safari, then the App Store. And here we have the Mibro Fit app which we can download and connect it to our watch. So we are going to download it really fast right now and after we have done so, we're going to go inside and see how to connect our watch. So now that the app is done let's open it up and see what's inside. First up it's going to ask to use your location services, so we're going to press on allow. Then it will ask to track your activity across other companies, apps and websites which isn't that important and you may or may not accept whichever you prefer. It's also it's going to ask to use Bluetooth, so we're going to click on accept. After that it will show us the tutorial and login which we are going to skip for now and get right inside the app. Now we're going to go to device on the bottom middle button where we can connect our watch. You can do it by clicking Add Device, or by scanning the QR code on our watch which will automatically start to pair, but first you need an account. If you don't already have one you can create one, or you can connect by using Gmail. After you've logged in you can scan the QR code on your watch with your camera, which will allow the app access to, and it will start to pair. After we accept the pairing request, and accept that the app can display notifications on our watch we are paired successfully, and we can carry out and see what's inside the app. The first option we can see is Watch Face Market where we can change the profile or face of our watch, which lets us choose from a different variety of watch faces, and you can choose whichever you like best, and if you want one you need to download it. Let's try one and see for ourselves, so let's download this one, and as you can see it takes a little bit of time, and after it has downloaded it will change our watch face immediately. Next up we've got the custom screen saver, where we can custom or watch face by background, style and position. Next we got notification where you can choose which apps from your phone can send you notifications and which can't so you can choose based on what apps you use and what apps you want notifications from or if you want you can turn them off altogether. Next we have the weather push option which serves for weather to be updated every 60 minutes and where you can change the temperature unit based on the one you use. After that we've got health reminder settings where you have sedentary reminder which allows you to make reminders to stand up and move around every once in a while, also drinking reminder which allows you to set reminders to drink water, distant view reminder, sports reminder, medical reminder, reading reminder and travel reminder. You can choose the time of the reminders and the intervals to repeat them however you want. Next we've got alarm clock where you can add any alarms that you want. You can label them however you want and make them repeat if you need them on weekdays, weekends or every day. Next we have the find a watch option which searches for our device and when it finds it, it will send a signal that makes our device vibrate and turn on. Next up we have the camera option which we can pair with our watch to allow the watch to take pictures and record videos from your phone by shaking your watch. And it will take them automatically, and if we accept the app to add to our watch it will save them on our album. After that we've got other settings where we can find options like raise to wake and 12 hour clock. And in the bottom we've got options like 
background protection to choose a protection system, firmware upgrade to install the latest update on our device, and also the reset option and the delete current device option. On our bottom right we have our profile, where we've got the personal information settings where you can choose to change your information. And last on your bottom left we have the home button where we can see options like steps where you can see your steps activity and all of your data like your distance traveled, calories burnt, your duration, and your records on the most steps, longest distance and highest calories. You also have other health monitoring options like heart rate, SpO2, sleep, body weight, sports record, fatigue records, and Meitu. So, this is pretty much it on the Mybro Fit app, how to connect and what to expect inside. It's a great and really easy app to use, and it works really well. This was all for today's video, in the next one we will show you how to connect your watch with iOS. I really hope you enjoyed and found this video interesting and helpful, if so, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel, and we will see you in the next video with another smart device.